What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Cut a Punch Boxing News, and I have some more news concerning Earl the Truth Spence. Earl Spence states that, hey, I want the Pacquiao fight. I'll fight Pacquiao in Makai, the Philippines, wherever he wants that fight. Keith Thurman doesn't deserve that fight that he's begging for. And by the way, Keith Thurman is begging for that fight, so I might as well kill two birds with one stone concerning Manny Pacquiao. Okay? So now this is another fighter that comes out and states that he wants to fight Manny Pacquiao. You know, Manny Pacquiao defeated Adrian Broner via uh, unanimous, unanimous decision. And, uh, you know, it was a good fight. Manny Pacquiao showed that he still has skills. Um, he still can punch. He's still game. You know, but now you have these young lions, young hungry lions. And they're what it is. These guys, Earl Spence, Keith Thurman, these guys are targeting the icon of Manny Pacquiao. Because, you know, Floyd is just going to do exhibition bouts. And then I... I me, personally, I think, you know, Floyd's in deep shit with a lot of people. A lot of people are mad at Floyd right now. But besides that, Floyd, it was a chicken shit way of Floyd. It was clever, but it was still chicken shit. You know, how he made Manny come and sign with PBC. Because what it really happens, let's just say Manny takes a fight with Earl Spence. Earl Spence be beats uh, Garcia. Then they make that fight. The numbers do well or whatever. That fight gets made on pay-per-view. And Earl Spence hurts Manny, right? Who would be to blame for that? Earl, you can't blame Earl Spence. He's just doing his damn job. He just wants a name. He wants that name on his resume. He wants to be like Floyd and Juan Manuel Marquez and, you know, uh, Timothy Brad. These guys that... These iconic names that have beat Manny Pacquiao, Eric Morales, he wants to be one of those guys. He wants the torch passed to him. He wants that notoriety. He wants that fame, understandably. But if he goes in there, you know, you beat the shit out of a 40-year-old congressman, right? And then you retire him, which sadly to say that's what happens with a lot of great fighters. They don't know when to quit. But that would um, indirectly be Floyd's fault. Because Floyd set all that shit up. He orchestrated it. And I ain't going to fight you. I'm going to make you think I'm going to fight you. But I ain't going to fight you. Hey, sign this contract. You know, you might get this fight with me. He signs a contract. Oh, I ain't give a fuck about what Pacquiao doing. You know? Then he changes his whole story. So now he's left with these hungry lions to fight. You know what I'm saying? Now Keith Thurman, he's begging for a fight. Because Keith Thurman knows, I know at this age in my career I can beat Pacquiao. Maybe not a couple years ago. But now he knows Pacquiao is right for the picking. See, Keith Thurman had an agenda the whole time. He didn't want all those damn belts. That he, I want to be, you know, one belt, two belts. He don't even mention the WBO. He don't. Nobody wants Crawford. Why? Because Crawford's in his prime. Crawford's that guy. He's that risk. He's that guy that you jump over there and fight him and, and bring two networks together. He beats your ass. Then you lose everything to an outside fighter. Al Heyman. Oh hell, I lose all my money. You know, that was my undefeated, you know, meal ticket. I can't advise him no more, and I advise him not to do that, and he's already done that. Don't fight Terrence Crawford. Talk all the shit you want about Terrence. Just don't fight him. You know what I mean? So, um, that leaves Pacquiao, and I think, honestly, Pacquiao was just set up. He was just set up and, and, and signed, a, you know, signed a contract to fight on this network with all these young guys that he's not in his prime and you know your job from this contract that you've signed you have to fight these guys you know what i'm saying and if manny pacquiao was smart i wouldn't fight any of these fuckers i wouldn't because yeah earl spence is dangerous he's hungry you know he ain't gonna see people here's the problem with the pbc fighters they don't want to fight each other keith don't want none of earl spence earl spence wants keith but only keith you know, you know what I'm saying? He don't want to fight nobody else, really. You know, he wants Keith. You hear him talk more about Keith than anyone. That's his primary objective. But everybody forgets about Crawford with the WBO. Another belt. Hello? Message? No, we don't want that. We want this little dude from the Philippines. 
that's, you know, that's not as badass that he used to be. He's off the juice. That's it. He's off the juice. That's the excuse. He's off the juice. You know, but in actuality, you want to fight this guy because he's older and, he's, and that makes him vulnerable. You know, now that would be an awesome thing to see Manny Pacquiao fight these guys and beat these guys. But I mean, how great do you have to show yourself? What do you have to prove to people? You know, um, but Manny fighting Keith Thurman, I, and that would be still a fight, you know, at least make it, you know, competitive. But, you know, Keith Thurman, he has a, a, a type of awkward style. Um, but I would give better odds for Pacquiao beating Thurman than Spence. Because Spence is just going to come to beat you up. You know what I mean? That's Spence is like that kind of dude. He loves digging to the body. And he has to be elusive. But that's if Manny can, you know, can deal with that type of stuff. But Manny can move. You know? He has those big stocky legs for a reason. He can move. And he can generate power. And if he hits you with something, you know, and, and he can, you know. I know I'm getting into the fight study. But if he can keep those guys honest by catching them with that left you know, he can, he, you know, he'll give him something to think about before running in there and ripping shots to the body like Spence is normally, you know, more than likely to do if it gets made. But yeah, everyone's after, after Pacquiao and it's like, okay, everybody wants that fight, but they don't want to fight each other. Ain't that strange. The mysteries of the PBC. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Earl Spence saying he deserves it more than Keith Thurman. Well, come to think of it. Um, he has a point on that. He, at least Earl Spence has been that active fighter. You know what I mean? I think he would deserve more of a chance than Thurman because Thurman ain't did shit in two years. And then he comes back and fights Lopez and gets rocked. Almost gets stopped. Right? Steve Willis wasn't so busy <laughs> looking at him getting his ass beat. He could see the amount of punches that he took unanswered right <laughs> and i love steve willis that dude is hilarious but you know what i mean that fight could have been stopped with any other ref right so um looking at that i think spence deserves a shot over you know um keith thurman however let me be clear me counterpunching that what i said i don't think any of them deserve to fight pacquiao why because I, they're avoiding a fight. I did a video earlier. You've probably already uh, listened to it or watched it. And it's called, you know, an example of misdirection. You fight another person to avoid another person. You know, you, you want a Pacquiao fight because everyone wants you to fight Crawford, Spence. See what I'm saying? Spence, now I want to fight with Pacquiao. Why aren't you? Now, this, now, it's strange how Spence calls out Pacquiao, right? You call out Pacquiao, but then yet you know that's not the fight that everyone in the welterweight division wants to see you fight. Everyone wants to see you fight Crawford, motherfucker, not Pacquiao. No, I deserve that fight. No, no, I want to beat up the young, the old congressman. But yet you got a guy in his prime that's willing to fight you. But you say, oh, Al Heyman didn't talk about that. But yet you're calling out Pacquiao. Why? You have a voice now, don't you? Now you didn't have a voice before. Oh, Floyd won't let me. The PBC won't let me. Al Heyman won't let me, right? Now it's, uh, man, uh, I want Pacquiao. I want Pacquiao. I'll fight him anywhere. But wait a minute. Well, what about Crawford? What about the elephant in the room, brother? What about Crawford? What's the deal with Crawford? Why aren't you wanting that fight? Why aren't you calling out that fight? Why don't you fight Crawford in Omaha? You'll fight Pacquiao anywhere. I got a got an idea. Fight Crawford in your own weight class. Okay? In his prime. Not someone that's over the top. Just saying, people. Just I'm trying to make this make sense to people that will listen. You know? So him calling out Pacquiao is a contradiction. I'll fight Pacquiao anywhere. Why Pacquiao? And not Crawford. Make your legacy fighting someone that will give you a better challenge if you call yourself the best. But anyway, I'm done. Okay, anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Earl Spitz's comments. Of course, please subscribe, guys. You guys have been counterpunched. Peace.